Hi friends, today's lesson is for module four, lesson 30. Our learning goal for today says, I can model decomposing 10 using number bonds, pictures, and number sentences. We've been working on those three different things and I am feeling pretty good about myself. How are you feeling? Oh, excellent. Did you know that when I was in kindergarten, I loved kindergarten because I had the best teacher. Her name was Mrs. Salzman, and Mrs. Salzman lived on a farm. That's right, she lived on a farm, and she was a teacher. Um, do you want to guess what she raised on her farm? Mm, those are good guesses. She actually raised sheep. Yep, and in kindergarten, we went on a field trip to her gigantic farm, and we actually got to pet the sheep. It was so cool. Well, today I thought I'd bring in a little bit of Ms. Salzman with me to our lesson by bringing in some sheep friends to help us practice decomposing 10. If you'll notice, they're super helpful sheep because they're standing in a very organized way to make it easier for us to count them. How are they standing that makes it so super helpful? Oh, good job. Yes, they're standing in five groups. Do you see how they're standing in five groups? I love it. Now, in that group of sheep, what do you see? I see different parts. What do you see? Yes, perfect. I love your good observations. Yeah, we see some white sheep, and we also see some black sheep. All right. Okay, so let's talk about the different parts that we see. I know that there's two five groups, so that's going to make ten. Let's put this into our number bond. All right, let's start with the first part, the white sheep. How many white sheep do you see, friend? Excellent. One, two, three, four. I see four as well. I'm going to go ahead and put that in one of my parts on my number bond. All right, so if there are four white sheep, how many black sheep are there? Good, there are six. I'm going to put that in my other part. How did you figure out six? Did you tap on each one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or did you know, did you see that five group down there? And did you just say five, six? That's what I did. <laughs> All right, perfect. So I have four plus six. Let's get out those good counting six on our fingers. If I have put up four, and then I add six more, how many do I have? Ding, 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 ding. I have 10. See how I have all my fingers up? Perfect. Hey, thanks, sheep, for helping us out. All right, so question for you, friends. How did I make 10? Sorry for that bell. A very long bell apparently. How did I make 10? 10. What were my parts again? Yeah, 10 was equal to what? What two parts did I add together to make 10? Good. I did four white sheep plus six black sheep. Perfecto. So I could say, how did I make 10? And you could tell me, well, 10 was equal to four plus six. That's how I made 10. Or I could say, what two things did I add together to get the whole group of 10? If I was going to say like that, I might want to say 4 plus 6. Those are the two things I added together, the two parts, to equal 10. See, number sentences can be moved around depending on how you're talking. Like if I want to start with the whole amount, I can. And if I want to start with the parts that I added together, I could do that too. I <laughs> love math. So cool. So many different ways to do the same thing. All right, can you go ahead and press pause? I want you to do some writing for me today. So can you go get a dry erase board and a marker and then come right back when you're all ready and press play. Okay, are you ready, friends? Perfect, here we go. After I saw the sheep, we went over and saw some cows and some pigs. All right, right now, I want you to tell me. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten animals all together. What? number sentence could I write? 10 was equal to what? Can you press pause and look at the two parts? How would you finish that? What did I have to add together to make 10? Press play when you're ready. Okay, so what were the two parts that you saw, friends? Yes, you saw five cows and five pigs. So your number sentence probably says 10 is equal to, good job, five for the cows plus Five piggies. Good. How does your number sentence look? Oh, excellent. I want to change it up now. I wrote 10 was equal to 5 plus 5. What if I wanted to start with my parts? 
I would say the, not, the two parts added together equals 10. Can you press pause, write a good number sentence where you start with the parts to equal the whole amount, and then press play to check yourself. Okay, so this time our number sentence has the same pieces to it, because the parts and the whole amount didn't change, I'm just gonna put them in a different order. I'm gonna start with the parts. So I could say five cows plus five piggies equals 10 animals. Perfect. All right, last challenge. Do you think you can put that good information into a number bond? I know that you can. Press pause. Go ahead and fill in that number bond and then press play to check yourself. Okay, so what were my two parts again? Good, five and five. And my whole amount? Yeah, it was 10. Man, you are getting so good at decomposing 10 and showing it in different ways. Question for you, I know that everyone always gets stressed. Is it okay that these numbers are the same number? Yes, because even though they're both five, they represent or they show different parts. The five cows and the five pigs. So even though they look the same, they're not, right? They're talking about different parts. So that's totally cool. All right, excellent job, friends. Go ahead and erase your board. All right. Now, after I left the zoo, I went and hung out, or after I left the farm, I went and hung out at the zoo with my friend Devante. And I was like, Devante, what did you already see at the zoo that I did not get to see? Oh, I'm so jealous. Because Devante said he saw two snakes, and he also saw eight turtles. Oh, I'm so jealous. I was trying to figure out if he saw two snakes and eight turtles, what would that look like? Obviously, if you know anything about me, you know that I love to draw a good picture. So I thought I would go ahead and draw it. I want to stay organized. So how about I draw a picture of that, friends? What's your suggestion? Yes, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and use those five groups. Thanks for the recommendation. So here I go. You can draw it with me or you can just chill. It's up to you. It says Devante saw two snakes. So I'm going to go ahead and draw two. One, two. I want to show that he saw eight turtles, and I want to draw my picture a little bit differently. So I'm going to go ahead and not color those circles in as I keep drawing. So let's see, eight. One, two, three. Ooh, it looks like I made a five group. I'm going to go the next row. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. It looks like how many animals did he see all together, friends? He saw ten, because I see my eight, nine, ten. Excellent. If I wanted to go ahead and fill in a number bond, showing the parts and the whole amount, what would I do, friends? Go ahead, press pause, fill that in your number bond, and then press play to check yourself. Okay, so tell me about your number bond. What did you start with? Oh, you started with the two snakes, and then you put in the eight turtles? I love it. And then the whole amount would be what, friends? Ten. Oh, you're so good. Hey, if I asked you to write a number sentence, and I said, hey, how did you make 10? What did you have to add together to make 10? You could say 10 is equal to what? Press pause, friends, finish that number sentence, and then press play to check yourself. Okay, what do you have to tell me? 10 is equal to, yeah, it's equal to two snakes plus eight turtles. Perfecto. What if I said, can you start with the parts to equal all the animals? What two parts would you start adding? Write another number sentence to show the parts you added to get to the whole amount. Press pause. Okay, did you say two plus eight was equal to 10? Excellent job, friend, you are so good. Go ahead and tell yourself, I'm totally amazing. Yeah, you are totally amazing, thank you. All right, I'm so glad this went well because today our learning goal was I can model decomposing 10 using number bonds, pictures, and number sentences. You did a fantastic job. I'm so super proud of you. I can't wait to see the next work that you'll do. So let's go back to the farm. Look at those cute cows that I saw in the pasture. So I saw three daddy cows that were watching a whole bunch of little babies. All right, go ahead and count how many babies there were. Yeah, I see a five group, five, six, seven. So three daddies, or mommies, sorry, three mommies, and seven babies. All right, so what I would like you to do is I want you to go ahead and send me a number bond and two number sentences. You can write them any way you want. Two number sentences to go along with it, okay? Can't wait to see your good work. Good luck, friends.